welcome back to Lehigh River Subdivision. I'm Ian and I'm continuing uh, progress on this Cotto bridge. So I went ahead and finished the handrails, two coats with the metallic silver. I went ahead and painted the side of the bridge. Um, the piece actually underneath there, flat black. Um, the reason I did that is uh, the shiny black of the Cotto is just you know wouldn't look realistic in the, the scenery so I did the flat black on there just in case any of it's exposed when uh, the wood uh, sticks are glued down uh, I went ahead and weathered those with some black watered down and then I wiped it off immediately so they still have a little bit of the wood color but they're aged and each one's a little different so I, I like that how that came out really happy with that uh, and thanks for the tips on that. There was quite a few guys who had mentioned uh, weathering these these uh, wood planks. And then I went ahead and did the flat black down uh, this, uh, I guess it's like a metal grate in between the rails. And then I'm just gonna weather the track yet. And then I'm going to weather the side of the bridge and it'll be ready uh, to be put in place on the layout. So, figured I'd give you a look at it before we start working on it. Okay, so I'm back to working on this bridge here, and uh, I taped off the roadbed. And I'm going to paint the uh, rails to weather them. So this piece goes with this bridge to go on the layout. So I'm going to weather the rails on the bridge along with that. And I taped off all this to keep uh, the brown from getting on that. And then once I'm done, Doing that, I'm going to go back through with gray and fill in between the ties because there's no concrete ties here in the northeast Pennsylvania on these freight lines. And uh, I got this because it's the only way the Cotto double track comes. So it should look like uh, regular railroad ties once it's done. So that's the plan. And uh, I'll show it once I'm done messing around with it here. Okay, so I took the tape off. Uh... In the previous pick uh, clip, I didn't show this was open um, right here. I actually ended up taping up to the rail to try to cover these ties. Uh, I got a little brown on them. I think I'm gonna go back with the flat black to give it more of the uh, a creosote look on those ties uh, because a lot of the bridge ties on bridges are usually really heavily creosote and they're like a dark brown to almost black. So I think the flat black would look good there. Um, Coming down to the side, you can see that I went ahead and weathered the side of the bridge and just kind of really got the paint off the brush. There wasn't much on it. I just went down through there and dabbed it and then I went along with like a paper towel trying to dab it off. And uh, I'm really happy with how that came out. I did the support system. Um, I did the rails and I set a train up here on it so you could get a look. I'm really happy with the way that turned out. And if you come up high, you can see the top of the rails are clean. Uh, so what I did was once I painted, you know, the whole se section of rail, I went back over to the top with a Q-tip and just wiped off the excess paint off the top rail. And it came off really easy. I'm using the, just your dollar acrylic paint from like Walmart, like in the paint supply. Um, and this was uh, burnt umber for the rails that I used. And you can see the rails weathered all the way down the bridge as well. So I'm going to go ahead next. I'm going to take a small tiny brush. Just dip the ends of it in gray and just dab in between these ties. Uh, probably take a little time but... I want to see how it turns out. Maybe I'll be able to skip ballasting in between the rails because I do plan to add ballast. So maybe if I can get it close enough to looking realistic uh, by dabbing the gray back in there that I won't have to ballast in between the rails. And I'll just do uh, this section and then the outer sections with ballast. So that's something I'm hoping to achieve. Uh, but the next step after uh, getting the gray in between the ties will be clear coating this all with a satin uh, clear coat and the bridge as well. All right, we'll be back with uh, the next clip. 
Okay, back with the bridge weathering, and uh, I weathered the side, uh, weathered the rails, the handrails on the side of the bridge. I went ahead and super glued the wood planks in. And if I go down through here, you can see some of the detail and the weathering on the rails and the, the grate. And uh, how I uh, repainted the ties black on the bridge. And you got a little bit of rust down there at the end. Put some rust on the inside of the rails. And then here is the uh, track once I refilled in the gray in between the ties. So this still gets a satin, or not a satin, I want to do matte. Um, so that'll dull down the gloss that's coming off the gray because all I had was satin. So it has a little bit of a sheen to it. But overall I'm happy and it looks way more realistic than that did. Or the uh, Kato wood ties that are the other style Kato track. So you can see all three of them there. And uh, I'm happy with the way this looks. Um, and we'll show you it once it's all clear coated, but there's the bridge. Okay, the bridge is clear coated and uh, weathered. And I cut uh, it out to fit it in place here because the other bridge was shorter, so this opening is now larger. And you can see the weathering on the bridge. And come up, you can see the deck board and the weathering on the railing there. You fought along, you can see the piece of track that I weathered where it goes into the unweathered. So it looks really nice. I'm happy with it. I have to come over to the top. You can see the deck boards in place. And the weathered track. that way so I'm really happy with the, the way this turned out and next thing will be working on the bridge abutments for this bridge and this bridge so with that being said I'm gonna stop the video here and uh, we'll pick up with a, a train running across this bridge and that'll be it for this episode so uh, look forward to a bridge abutment episode in the near future Thank uh you. -huh.